G'day guys, Billy here from West Australia. Well fellas, if you saw my last video, I rescued this baby magpie about two weeks ago. His name is Nipper, so I've called him Nipper. I did have another beautiful magpie scrapper. I had him for nearly a year guys, another rescue. And uh, he died not too long ago. He actually drowned. He fell into one of my water containers just here fellas, he fell into this one, that's why I've got these ones covered now, this one's empty, uh, but yeah he fell in there, poor thing drowned, I actually heard him, it was early in the morning, but I thought he was just playing, and I got up, couldn't find him, and I looked in that container and I was heartbroken guys, he was such a beautiful magpie, could do so many things, he loved my dogs, but anyway, so Scrapper, my previous magpie, wandered my yard, all he did was wander my yard and eat bugs and everything. He was a baby magpie, just like this one. So eventually Nipper, this magpie here, I've called him Nipper, like I just said. He will be released probably in the next probably three or four days. I'll be putting him in the ground, on the ground, and let him wander the yard. And so he can eat properly bugs and flies and spiders and lizards and all that. His scrapper, I saw him eat so many things. Lizards, deadly black widow spiders, redback spiders, everything, guys. So anyway, this one here is probably about four weeks old. I found him the other day um, after a really, really windy day. Still really windy. He was blown out of his nest. Couldn't fly. And he was at risk of getting taken by a, a uh, domestic cat or a dog. So yeah, came across him, guys, and I've rescued him. And he's going really well. So anyway, it's feeding time. So he's in this cage. He has got a big aviary straight through there, fellas. A really big aviary. But I'm just letting him, giving him a few different environments. During the day, he hangs underneath his tree. Gets some sunshine and, you know, gets used to my yard. I move the cage around to different areas just so he can get settled into the environment. Like I say, the next three or four days I will be... Um, putting him on the ground and eventually he will be released back into the wild from where I found him from So anyway, it's feeding time guys. So baby magpies. It's pretty easy um, So what I've got here is some grated carrot and some dog roll and a little bit of water So there's numerous things you can feed them. You can actually feed them proper magpie mix um, I can't find there's none in my area none in the surrounding towns You can feed them mince meat diced beef, uh, insects where you catch butterflies, flies, you can get a net and try and catch flies and so forth and whatever. But anyway, this is convenient for me. I've had a lot of success with my magpies. So we're going to squeeze this or this carrot into this dog roll. This is going to last a long, probably a week, maybe a bit longer. So he's getting a, his veggies in this dog roll as well. So he's going to get plenty of good protein and vitamins and so forth guys he actually loves this my last magpie did as well so like I say the flies heaps of flies around this will be actually catching flies in the cage so there you are so with baby magpies, guys, Nipper is pretty good. He actually eats out of my hand. But if you find a really, really young baby magpie, you're going to have to open up their beak and sometimes force the food into their mouth. So... So... so there you are, come on. So just you feed them until they stop squawking. They'll you will know when to stop feeding them. Come on. Like I say, if you find a really young, like a couple of weeks old, you're going to have to force the food into their mouth. It's easy. You just open up their beak. 
That's what I actually had to do that with this one when I first found him. Until they get used to you. He's really tame now. He lets me pick him up and everything. Come on. So he's nearly full. You will know when they're full they'll stop squawking. He's probably gonna Yep, so he's full now guys, so probably in another couple of hours I'll feed him again. Probably about six or seven times a day I'll feed him. So that's it. That's how I feed my magpies that I rescue. I usually find about one to three magpies a year guys. Try and raise them and release them. Sometimes I have some success and sometimes I don't. But not just magpies, crows, whatever. All types of animals, guys, reptiles, even baby sheep, lambs, what have been affected by frost, and so much more. But anyway, so this is Nipper, and unfortunately, like I say, I lost my beautiful magpie Scrapper, and I've called this one Nipper, and he's about probably four to six weeks old. And these magpies will live up to 30 years of age. Alright guys, really appreciate you watching, so I do plenty more videos on Nipper. And like I say, soon he'll be getting released into my backyard so he can find his own food. And I've got a beautiful backyard. Check out my last video, fellas, part one. You'll see some of my beautiful garden in the great southern region of West Australia, a town called Dumbuyong. All right, guys, see ya.